Hello! This time, you're going to find out how to use group functions in SQL. Group functions are these sorts of things. Functions that allow you to count the number of rows, count the number of rows in a specific column. Uh, I will show you what the difference is. And get the highest, lowest, average, sum of the values in a given row. So count works like this. We can count all of the rows in a given table, three rows in the ACK table. But we can also count the values of the bonus column in the ACK table and that counts those values that are not known. There are three rows in this table. One of them has a null value for bonus, and the other two have no null values. Now that you've seen these functions, you can see there actually are two different kinds of functions in SQL. Functions that give you just one value, things like sine, cosine, square root, all of those kinds of calculations. If there's one row, then that gives returns one value, but it returns one value for each row. So if we have 10 rows, we get 10 values. And when we use it with null, the result is null. And then there's a second kind of function, which is the group functions. Group functions, like count, one row produces one value, but group functions aggregate the value. If we have 10 rows of data, we get one result, the number of rows, or the sum of all the values in a given column for all the rows. And in that, no values are ignored. The other values, where there are any, are the ones that are used. Here are some examples of using aggregate functions. Max gives you the highest value. Here, the maximum balance in the account. Sum will add up all the values for balance, but we can use that with a where statement to get all of the values for all of the balances in the Brumel branch. And count can also use the Brumil branch, like this. In a previous video, I already mentioned that you have to watch out with nodes. Group functions you've just seen, they ignore null values using all of the other ones. But other functions don't ignore null values. Because bonus is null, the sum of balance as bonus is itself null, which is a different way of working with null. So sometimes with null you will see a null result, and sometimes the null value will be ignored and you will see a result made from non-null ones. It's something to watch out for. There is a function that can be used when you have null values, but you want them to be treated differently in calculations. And the function is NVL, and its purpose is to replace a null value with a different one. It works like this. We name the column where the replacement is going to take place, and we name the replacement value. In use, if there is a value for bonus, it will be left alone, but if there isn't, we will use zero. So the sum is going to give us a figure, even though the bonus is null, the, bon the no bonus is replaced with zero, the zero is used in adding up, and we get a figure. As you've already seen, 
null values in group functions require some thinking about as, as you practice. Take your time to try and work out the meaning of these different things as you try them out. Bye.